morning. It should be Wednesday, May 6th, and I hope you guys had a good Cinco de Mayo. Let's take a look at what is going on this week. We're going to have another special guest lecture with Mr. Stone. Your riddle of the day. We're handing some light. Let's take a look. I wonder what color that is. Our coronavirus totals global is 3.6 million with 256,000 passed away. And as of this evening, the U.S. totals are 1.2 million with 71,000 fatalities. Arkansas has some fatalities going up and some cases going up with um, 3,525. So we will see what our social distancing behavior will do for us there. Let's transition into our topic of the day. Our goals today, um, check in in Google Classroom. You'll answer the riddle there. So all you gotta do is show in, check in, hit submit. And now we're gonna talk about carrying capacity with our guest lecturer, Mr. Stone. Take it away, Mr. Stone. Do your thing, man, do your thing. Do your thing, do your thing. Do your thing. So when we're talking about carrying capacity of a specific organism or a specific region or ecosystem, it all circles back to what we talked about last week, which was limiting resources or limiting factors. Everything you see exists together in a delicate balance. As king, you need to understand that balance and respect all the creatures from the crawling ant to the leaping antelope. So if you remember, limiting resources are those resources that limit the population of that organism in that specific area. And these things could be food, shelter, prey, predators. Water. Anything that an organism needs to survive can be a limiting factor. So a carrying capacity for an organism is limited by those limiting resources and is different for every area that that organism lives in. For example, if you have an organism, the same organism, like a blackbird, that lives in 50 different regions across the United States, each region has a specific carrying capacity that is determined by the resources that that region has. The max population for that organism is determined by the region. There's not one set number that it's going to reach that's going to say, hey, once you get this number, regardless of where you are, that's your carrying capacity. For some regions, the carrying capacity of an organism may be a million. For other regions, it may be 10. It all depends on those resources that it has. So let's look at an example of what some of these resources could be in our area. So the example we're going to look at is just this rock. So this rock right here, you can see it's got lichen all over it. So it's going to provide a spot for these lichen to live. There's going to be a point where this lichen and moss reaches its carrying capacity, it reaches the point where it cannot grow anymore on this rock. And right there, Millie just reached its carrying capacity because no more dogs can fit on the rock. Right, another move. Go. Get out of the way. But another thing that this rock does is it provides shelter for the organisms that are underneath it. And again, there's going to be a carrying capacity because this rock has limited space, right? That's one of its limiting resources. It has a certain amount of space that it can cover and not anymore. So let's lift it up and kind of look at what organisms or what area is underneath it and kind of the ecosystem that is there. So if we look underneath the rock, you can start to see the millipedes that are there, all these little organisms that live in this area. And that's going to be only a couple that can it can support because there's a limited space, there's limited resources, there's not all this limited area for them to live. And soon they'll reach their carrying capacity. So all the areas we're talking about, whether it's this entire landscape above us or the single rock that we just looked at, each area, each little niche that we talk about has a carrying capacity. And it's different for different areas, it's different for different organisms. Each, each organism in a different area has a specific carrying capacity that it'll have. And so that's why really carrying capacity sounds like it's a specific number, 
but it's just more like an idea and a concept that eventually you can have a number four, but with so many specifics, the numbers change from location to location. So that's carrying capacity. Excellent point. Now what I'd like you to do is answer the five questions. I think it's about five in the Go Formative worksheet for your credit questions of the week. And let's close this out so you can answer your Google question. Today's riddle of the day was give the green light. And we've been in lockdown for so long, we're waiting for our governor to give us the green light to go back to normal. But you need to understand it is not normal. We are slowly phasing up getting back openings, but we're still increasing social distancing. We're still disinfecting surfaces. We're avoiding close contact with other people. So we want the green light, but we need to go nice and slow through the intersection. Wash your hands, be safe. Talk to you soon.